Welcome to our webinar, Empowering Library Leaders and Diversity Worldwide. The MENA Experience, the Middle East and North Africa Experience, presented by EFLAS Management of Library Association Sections, MLAS, in collaboration with the New Professionals Special Interest Group. We are proud to present the third event in our new webinar series to empower new library leaders worldwide and foster diversity within the profession. My name is Loida Garcia Fibo. I am the information coordinator for MLAS and co-founder of EFLAT New Professionals. And we are very happy to present this series and I'm going to be the moderator today. Over the course of six webinars, library associations from countries in each IFLA regional division will present opportunities um, they provide for new <clears throat> and senior librarians, including leadership opportunities and how these library associations are fostering diversity within the library profession and leadership. The webinar format includes interactive opportunities to engage attendees in conversations. Let's go to the next slide. About those topics uh, that will elicit best practices and recommendations and the needs of new and senior professionals. We can go to the next slide to see the agenda. The insights gained from these webinars will then inform and enrich the MLAS open session at WLIC 2022, the World Library and Information Congress in Dublin, which will focus on the same theme. This webinar series is connected to the EFLA strategy three, connect and empower the field specifically. Support uh, 3.2 is support virtual networking and connections we will develop a spirit of continuous collaboration in the library field through virtual networking tools that enable every librarian to be involved and engaged in a global conversation. 3.3 indicates empower the field at the national and regional levels. We will enhance the capacity of the library field to deliver actions tailored to regional and national characteristics and requirements by strengthening library associations, institutions, and networks at all levels. We are pleased to feature library associations and librarians from all regions of the world in this webinar series. Our agenda today includes, and maybe we can go to the next slide to see the agenda, Library associations sharing their resources about leadership and diversity. Interactive conversations. Attendees, please join an interactive meeting room. We will have them in English, Arabic, and French. And then after these conversations, we return to the main webinar room to hear from the seasoned and veteran librarians new to leadership sharing information about their experiences and path to leadership. I would like to thank the chair and each one of the members of our section, MLAS, supporting this effort and dedicating their time and energy to make these webinars happen. And big thanks to the leadership of the EFLA New Professional Special Interest Group and their convener, Magdalena Gomolka for supporting the webinar, technical aspects, and many logistics. Your collaboration is greatly valued. Before we continue, please turn off your microphone and camera during presentations and note that this meeting is being recorded. Now, I would like to ask Magdalena Gomolka, convener of the IFANU Professionals, to join us for a special section. Um, hello everyone, uh, my name is Magdalena and I uh, am from New Professional Special Interest Group 
uh, we helped uh, to organize this webinar, but at the beginning, we would like to know where are you from? Uh, in which countries are you now? And uh, now we would like to invite you uh, to uh, go to the website menti.com and uh, use this code 9837846. So please grab your mobile phone and uh, go to website menti.com and uh, write down this code. I will stop sharing the screen now and we'll present you uh, about the results of our, uh, our meeting today. And... Can you tell us again the, uh, the code? Maybe write it on the mm -hmm. chat. Uh, yes, in the chat I will write. And uh, nine, eight, three, zero, seven, eight, four, six. It's in the chat box now. And now and the name of the website and menti.com. Maybe Can I you write the mm -hmm. Rita? Yes. Menti. Mm -hmm. I see that some people use it. That's really great. Thank you. Oh, and you can see it now on our um, uh, on our Zoom that we have people from Egypt, Lebanon, USA, Puerto Rico. Yes. And uh, which countries are with us today? Please don't hurry up. We have a few minutes to 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 find out. It will be really great to find out where are you now. You can see also the code uh, on the top of the website. I can repeat it: nine eight three zero seven eight four six. Yeah, we have people, librarians from Ukraine. Welcome. I'm, we are very glad that you are. We, you all are with us. So, yeah. So I see that from different continents we have. Mm -hmm. From USA, yes, to USA, from Virginia as well. That's really great. Okay, so thank you very much for uh, for this game, and I stop sharing the screen and uh, give uh, our Tunisia as well. Well, welcome everyone, <laughs> and and give uh, a microphone to Loita. Thank you so much, Magdalena. I would like now to introduce our speakers, and they are Hassan al Sarehi, is a professor of information science at King Abdulaziz University and the current president of the Arab Federation for Libraries and Information, APLI. Welcome. Randa al Chidiak is the vice president and public relations coordinator for the Lebanese uh, Library Association. She's currently the president of the Blue Shield Lebanese Committee and executive director projects and grants unit International Affairs Office at Holy Spirit University of Kazlik in Lebanon. Welcome. We also have Rasha Barakat, MIU head of libraries um, at the American University in the Emirates. And we have Sumaya Yahi Yui, Librarian, Deputy Head, Director of Collection Development of the National Library of Tunisia. Welcome everyone. And we are going to start our sections with the um, information from library associations about leadership and diversity and their different efforts. Welcome Professor Hazan al -Sarahi.
should I start? Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hassan Sareh from Saudi Arabia, the president of AFLI, and also uh, professor of information science at King Abdulaziz University. Uh, I just want to start with thanking Lloyd uh, and the EFLA section. Uh, let me get this out of my way. Okay. Uh, Lloyd uh, and the EFLA section management of Library Association. I'm really glad uh, to join in this webinar uh, with my young colleagues, Randa Rasha and Sumaya and the rest of the group. And also I was happy to see Mahmoud and Marwa and the rest of the, the group. So uh, yeah, and this is a good opportunity to see them again. Uh, before talking about leadership uh, opportunities or programs, or programs by AFLI, AFLI is the Arab Federation for Labs and Information. I want to uh, point out our philosophy uh, and basic principles uh, in Italy, or at least what I believe in and uh, my group. Uh, leadership does not mean forcing uh, individuals' opinions and decisions, but giving opportunities, working with them, listening, solicit ideas and proposals, supporting your team or members and leading by example. In the formation of the AFLIS board or uh, board members, we insisted, I remember that we insisted on adding a young professional to the executive office. And happily, he's, he's uh, with us here. Abdullah Al Hanai, before the election, I tried to convince him to come and join the group. And he is a good example of young leaders. We insisted on giving the opportunity uh, in organizing AFLIS conferences in any country to local young professionals from the host country. Cooperation with national association in organizing joint activities. Also cooperation with international uh, agencies uh, organizing jo joint activities and seek funds for uh, those uh, programs. Supporting the idea of working in teams in publishing of important professional standards. Actually, uh, actually we, uh, are the ones at, at the beginning we uh, introduced standards uh, in the, uh, for the Arabic uh, uh, libraries. Also policies and publications to confirm uh, and insist on the institutional professional practices, providing opportunities uh, for young leaders to lead and manage activities and programs. Uh, such examples, I remember, is uh, one uh, one of them is also I saw the name. Uh, she's she's with us, Dr. Hiba Smail. She's a successful model. She's a true leader, and she's with us. Mohammed Mahdi is a successful model also in the in, in taking care of the media work uh, and Afli. Abdullah Al Hanai. He is a successful model, and we'll see uh, some some about him. Majid Abu Sharha he is also a successful model, leading and uh, sort of coordinating the scientific uh, work. Uh, Professor Imad Isa leading the IT and educational programs. Uh, Hassan Al Sa'fi leading training activities. Although he's uh, like me, he's not from the young generation, but at least I consider him. Uh, one, one, one of the uh, continuous uh, young leaders. In addition, uh, tens of innovators, le young leaders trained through AFLIS programs that I will talk about. Uh, I, I will start with talking about AFLIS programs uh, and maybe I will emphasize on the first one because it was the biggest project uh, the start of successful programs. Uh, but I will start with saying that Hiba Ismail was behind this project. The name of the project, International Net Network of Emerging Library Innovators, 
Middle East and North America, in Alimina. It's well, well known, uh, well publicized, and you will know why. It's an each leadership program implemented by the Arab Federation for Libraries and Information, AFLI, and funded by the Global Libraries Initiatives uh, at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The program aimed to support future Arab leaders in public and national libraries. So this is the focus of the program, public librarians uh, and generating or supporting new leaders, new innovators by developing and improving their skills and competences, which will contribute to the enhancing the level of service in public libraries throughout the region. Also, uh, building an active regional e-learning network of emerging leaders in libraries in the Arab uh, region. Uh, the Inali Mina uh, is one of the most successful col collab uh, collaboration programs in the region and uh, will we'll let you know uh, why we say it's one of the successful. The two years programs structure consists of eight learning modules like building successful teamwork, innovation, using data, risk management, change management, conflict management, advocacy. The training modules were designed carefully to ensure that all learners acquire the knowledge and skills needed to promote sustainable development in the communities. One of the main modules was libraries and the uh, SDGs, the emphasis on raising awareness of libraries co uh, concerning the United Nations 2030 agenda to employ the main goals and sub goals of the SDGs. In, in their libraries activities, uh, and uh, so the, it goes with the F, uh, EFLA also uh, goals and activities. A team project was implemented so uh, innovators have to work with each other implement uh, a service or program in their libraries and to convenings. And we'll, I'll, I'll mention those convenings. Uh, this is sort of like uh, a summary of the uh, in Alimina in numbers, uh, 31 innovators, uh, we call them innovators, 15 countries, uh, eight modules uh, using uh, e-learning modules, uh, uh, platform. Uh, the two convenings that I talked about was held uh, in Germany and Egypt. Uh, we spent time in uh, Berlin and visited a few places and uh, had uh, work there in uh, 2016. And, and we moved in 2017 between Alexandria and uh, Cairo. Uh, seven uh, teamwork, seven members. The duration of this program two years and a half, uh, the, uh, we, we, we were joined by at least two mentors. Uh, the program uh, throughout the use of ICT and the e-training uh, uh, e program succeeded in building connections between Arab professionals around the MENA region, enhancing, and we felt it, and we saw it, enhancing their skills and competences, six projects were implemented by innovators in their uh, communities. Uh, one of them, ho Homeless uh, Children, which was the fir uh, first winner uh, project. Uh, uh, then Human uh, library, 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 and then uh, Marketing Plan 1, Marketing Plan 2, Adapting Talents, uh, preschool programs, and those are the uh, photos of those programs. Uh, when we talk about the program, uh, we uh, and talk about the success and impact of this program, the collaborative cooperation with the library associations. Uh, and uh, I saw Dr. Amani Mjahid uh, is here, and she was one of the members of that joining us in that program. Uh, as the head of, of the of the Egyptian Library Association and also a mentor uh, across the Arab countries succeeded those uh, those library association across the Arab countries succeeded in implementing 
after we finished, they implemented five national programs and transferred the, uh, the ex expertise and the experience and sort of like sustain the experience. Trainees were from in Egypt, 19, Sudan, uh, 15, Tunisia, 17, Palestine, 61, Libya, 20. In Algeria, Bahrain, and Morocco, they were uh, like uh, they had uh, made uh, attempts at smaller programs or levels that we cannot call them uh, yeah, any, uh, full programs, but at least they tried. The program was recognized and awarded by the World Summit on the Information so Society. Uh, Afli renewed because we felt the, this successful. And I, I can humbly say, because of Heba and Imad and the rest of the group, we continued. Uh, uh, Afli renewed and maintained its e-learning education and training platform. Uh, Ahmad is taking care of this, and we sort of like felt this platform will will uh, help uh, different programs and the future programs. And we we were right, and we uh, used it in different programs that I will talk about. Uh, for other programs, we now have the infrastructure, the expertise. Hassan, uh, there is a small problem with the microphone. Okay. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Where? Because it was it was on. Uh, did you hear me when I was talking about the success, or no? It, just only a few seconds, two seconds. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, 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 the second program that I want to talk about, uh, since we uh, concentrated on uh, public libraries and national libraries in the first program, we sort of like copy the uh, experience and move to the uh, second project, with, which is AFLI Regional Project for Professionals Excellence in University la Libraries. And that was a request uh, by university librarians and we, Iman is one of them. She's here. She's uh, in the photos. The participants in the uh, participants in that program uh, were 62, uh, for, uh, coming from uh, 13 uh, countries. I'll I'll move on and talk about the success and impact of this uh, program. Uh, one of the projects presented uh, by a group led by Samih Al Shafi'i, uh, the name of the project was the Gamification Services Application at the British University Library was chosen among the top uh, 10 ma marketing uh, campaigns in the EFLA Press Reader, uh, International uh, Market, um, uh, Marketing Award winners 2022. It, that program, uh, uh, it's worth uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, noting that the Gamification Techniques Services Application Project won the first prize uh, in AFLIS Regional Project uh, that I'm talking about for professional excellence in the university and the in university libraries. Also, uh, some graduates, I call them graduates of the, of the, of the program, were invited to present their projects and share their uh, experiences. Al Hanai, uh, and we see his photo with Barbara, uh, president of IFLA, just a few days ago in uh, Doha. Uh, Farah and Iman are just examples. Iman Al Alawi, uh, they joined on, the, on those different uh, programs and moved from their experience. That's what made us happy to see all of those activities after they uh, uh, leave those programs. The third program and last program that I want to talk about during my available time is uh, AFLIS uh, Regional Project for Professionals Excellence in School Libraries. So we cover and we uh, try to uh, serve uh, uh, public libraries, national libraries, academic librarians, and also uh, school librarians 
the number of participants uh, are 39 from 13 countries. Uh, duration will be uh, three months. This program is ongoing program led by three new leaders from three countries. One of the, uh, them is Khadija from Bahrain. She's a young uh, uh, professional. Majid is st still young. Uh, he's, he's, uh, uh, he spent most of his time working in school la libraries as, as a manager in Saudi Arabia. Who uh, uh, manage uh, and uh, an excellent uh, sc school library in Jordan, which is well known, and she is very active. She she has a PhD in this area. This is a project that is ongoing still. They they started like a few uh, two weeks ago, and we can see that uh, uh, we we try to we try to. Uh, build on a success, uh, successful story with the uh, program that we uh, joined with, uh, with, uh, with Bill and Melinda Gates uh, uh, project. We thank them for their support and uh, their uh, funds for the first program, but we maintain the, uh, uh, the successful story and sort of like building on the uh sustainability issue uh we had the uh, we were happy to have uh young leaders to uh move those projects to their countries with the help of their uh, national associations uh i can name tens of people uh, of young uh, leaders now they are taking uh, the lead in uh, different initiatives and in, in different countries uh, and that's why we are proud to say we are AFLI. We used this slogan before AFLA, by the way, and uh, we uh, like. I'm sure that it's it's from the from uh, 15 years ago, maybe. Uh, we insisted on this. We wrote it in Arabic in, in our logo. So uh, thank you, Lloyd. Thank you for the rest of you. I hope that I did not take more time than allowed to me. Thank you so much, uh, Hazan. These examples from AFLI are wonderful because they do uh, uh, present how the association is, um, I should put my camera on, how the association is um, supporting different type of librarians and within the region, of course, uh, it's, a, it's a big region. So uh, it's an ambitious plan. I'm sure there's so many people working um, and this is why we want to share with others in different regions of the world so they can um, take ideas and perhaps build or replicate this successful program. So thank you so much. And now, and by the way, going... yes, we, we also make our uh, platform available for library, uh, national library associations. This is one thing that we, uh, we do is having uh, their searches and Dr. Amani and Hassan Saqi and Abdullah uh, can يعني, comment on those things. Uh, this is we make uh, our resources available to the National uh, Lapra Association as much as we can. And we sort of like collaborate with them in every way. Thank you, Lloyd. Thank you. That's, that's really uh, great to support the region. As we know, uh, different regions of the world have uh, countries that have uh, different type of resources. So uh, having an association strong like AFLI, um, it's it's really great and reaches the possibilities. And uh, I did I did attend uh, the AFLI conference uh, some years ago, and I can I can say um, that uh, there is a very hardworking group of librarians in the region, and they are very enthusiastic. So I will now uh, welcome Randa Alchdiak. Welcome. Thank you, Loida. Thank you. Before I begin my presentation, I'd like to thank MLAS, uh, a very dynamic group, I can say, uh, for giving me this opportunity uh, to speak about the experiences of the Lebanese Library Association. Uh, my, my presentation might not be as heavy or as contextual as Dr. Hassan's, but hopefully I will be able to share some experiences or future projections of the Lebanese Library Association and what we hope to gain in the, the fourth quarter of 2022 going into 2023. 
So first of all, um, we all know the definition of, of a leader, uh, but what I liked about the Harvard Review definition in one of its articles, it's the goal through the direction of human assistance. Uh, a leader cannot do everything on his own. He needs assistance. He, 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 he goes, he depends, or she depends, I should say she depends, on, on a group around them that can assist. And we do that day to day, we do that every year. And, it, and no matter the circumstances, we have to go on to that. But if we look into the change in management and the change, including diversity, inclusion, all of these concepts that are being uh, introduced or implemented indirectly in our libraries, we come to a new uh, definition of leadership. It comes to be called inclusive leadership. This is what we have to look for in the future more and more are inclusive leaders uh, that will be able to, to lead our libraries forward and move our libraries forward and direct our libraries forward. And they have they are non-biased as basically it shows that they are ambassadors of the uh, ideas of diversity, inclusivity and uh, equity. Uh, they, are, they show that they are vulnerable. It's not negative to show that you're vulnerable and need assistance of others. That's what a leader does. Uh, and then, of course, they have to be, they have to have this cultural intelligence to be able to absorb different cultures and different ethnicities within uh, their libraries, not only the staff, but also uh, the users that come to the libraries as well. So uh, our past experience is very limited, but it was really... Uh, we, the greatest experience we had was during the Beirut or after, unfortunately, the Beirut blast. Our young professionals uh, stood up, went on the ground, uh, took the lead stance of uh, cleaning up not only the libraries and museums and archives, but even the streets of Lebanon and helping other NGOs in working. Our directors took initiatives in fundraising, uh, in assisting other uh, uh, cultural heritage institutions in Lebanon and assisting their staff to be able to be trained and capable of going through this uh, this period that, that happened. But then there was a backfire. We've lost a lot of young potential people uh, and we've also had uh, a, a high rate of retiring administrators. So now the administration or the, sorry, the association has to jump in here and assist in building a new team of new leaders that are needed to step into the shoes of their old predecessors and assist in continuing the challenges that we face as librarians in this world and any other aspect of our job and profession. So looking forward, um, we decided that on the, the during the fourth quarter of 2023, uh, we will start an internal, internal formation, first of all, changes, uh, we will carry out an internal audit. This is a lesson that we learned from the American Library Association uh, to actually look into our association. What is it that is missing there? What are the gaps? Uh, we will be carrying out uh, a DEI scorecard. DEI stands for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. And it's a scorecard, which is an evaluation tool uh, that allows you to be accountable. Where are we? We have to be transparent with ourselves. We have to be very honest with ourselves. Are we applying diversity, whether in the association or in our libraries? Is there inclusion or not? What should we do from there? When we do all these studies and evaluation, we come back to the fundamentals of the library association. Uh, we need to revise maybe our vision, our mission, our values definitely have to be revised. Uh, we have to draft uh, a national, I can say a national or an, an association agreed on mandate regarding diversity, equity and inclusion, where all librarians and our, our members of the association will agree on. And we hope that it will be endorsed by the Ministry of Culture in Lebanon, under which the association falls, uh, we report to them. That is a very important thing. If the, if the uh, Ministry of Culture endorses this mandate policy, as we can call it, then it becomes a national policy that uh, all libraries uh, can refer to, whether public, academic, specialized, or school. Um, we've also taken the first steps of including uh, young leaders in the LLA board as active decision makers, uh, whether being heads of uh, special groups or taking the initiatives of introducing a new uh, programs and new ideas. And I hope we will see more and more of these young people joining uh, our association uh, and leading this association to the future. 
another step we're looking towards is the LLA community, meaning our LLA members. And even if they are not LLA members, they are more than welcome to join us in all our activities uh, and partake in this to develop uh, further and further uh, and move along uh, as they wish. We're thinking of national workshops. Uh, we know that there's, this, uh, there's a discrepancy between our academic libraries, our school libraries, and our public libraries. So we're trying to put them all on the same platform. So we will divide them by library type, first of all, because I think you're all aware uh, that the needs of different libraries are, it's different in each library or even different library types. So we have to look and take that into consideration. Uh, we will be carrying out or asking them to carry out internal evaluation of practices in their library. Uh, we are not here to criticize. We're not here to demonize anyone. We just want them to self-reflect and see if they are on the platform where they are offering uh, practices. They might not be aware that they are practicing uh, DI, so it might become an eye-opener to them that this is available and it can be developed even further. Uh, we hope to carry out a capacity building workshop on drafting policies in a very a clear manner, including the components of DEI, which is a very important thing. And of course, leading the libraries to draft policies on uh, the DEI, diversity, inclusion, and uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion, which would probably be related to the national mandate that we spoke about before. Uh, we're not trying to copy, we can adapt, uh, but you know, each area, each country, each section, each library has its own uh, special entity on that aspect. Uh, and of course, we would love to come up where we can adapt, uh, adopt good practices to apply. What is going around? Uh, Lloyd just said that we are sharing experiences across the board. That would be a very good way to share experiences from within the region, from the MENA region, and from outside the MENA region, and then adopt good practices, maybe not drafting standards. It's a bit difficult to draft standards in a, in a very um, quick manner or a very affordable manner, but we'll try to come up with a set of regulations of good standards um, to, to be able to apply DEI. Uh, we hope to have roundtables where we, we really discuss inclusion and accessibility. Uh, we have this problem in Lebanon where most of some of our libraries are not uh, catering for a certain community or a certain group within our community. So we have to work on that. But of course, uh, we will be reaching out to other institutions that deal, for example, if we're talking about um, um, physically uh, uh, incapable first people or the hearing impaired or we will reach out to institutions in Lebanon who deal with those special groups to to uh, uh, discuss what can be done in the libraries regarding or assisting this group how are we supposed to set up our libraries to be able to welcome and cater and service uh, these groups uh, and of course uh, we can we have to be very realistic we're going to detail what can be done. We're not going to be perfect uh, very quickly, but what can be done? Do not forget we have human resources that have to be probably trained to be able to cater uh, to these special groups. So this is one thing we have to think about. Uh, funding, it definitely needs funding because there's special equipment, special setup, special furniture. Um, so this is something we have to think about. And of course, institutional policy. Uh, as we know, most of our libraries belong to larger institutions. So we cannot disregard them. What is the policy adopted by my institution? But at the same time, uh, I believe that libraries can be the advocates, advocate leaders for inclusion and accessibility. We are the best examples to prove uh, to our institutions that we can cater and service uh, spe special communities and special groups of people uh, around our communities. So that is one thing that we can really make a stand on uh, as librarians, I believe. And then, of course, we hope to uh, launch a program called Leaders of the Future program. Um, Dr. Streche was talking about this at AFLI. We, we might collaborate with AFLI at one point, definitely. Uh, we first have to identify the individuals within our country. Uh, I know I have, I've met a lot of uh, motivated, enthusiastic, and, and wonderful leaders, even without the training, they are leaders in their character, their initiative, their, their activity, their force. Um, and then we have a workshop series. Uh, and this workshop series does not always have to entail 
librarians. We might have people from NGO sectors, from the business world. Uh, it's, it's good for librarians to see this uh, mix and match in the series. Uh, we might be covering topics, uh, not just leadership, but there are other aspects that are very important uh, for someone to be a leader uh, and a fo full force in their community. Uh, we will hopefully be able to provide them with shadowing exercises. Uh, we've already had a couple of librarians in Lebanon uh, through the Erasmus project, the staff mobility uh, component of Erasmus, who have actually uh, traveled and done some shadowing, but that's not through the LLA, to be honest, it was through their institutions. Uh, but that is one aspect we can look into. And LLA being part of IFLA, uh, I think we have a good chance of building this network and providing our librarians with these capabilities of going for shadowing exercises. And of course, we hope to collaborate with the institution of higher education in Lebanon, because it's very important for us at the end to offer a diploma, not a degree, but a diploma from a legitimized uh, academic institution, which gives it more uh, credibility. LLA has, is registered in the Lebanese government. We have the backing of the Ministry of Culture, but it'll also be nice to have the backing of uh, academic institutions and the Ministry of Education as well in, in this project uh, working with us. And of course, if you'd like to get in contact with LLA, uh, these are our contact details. We're, we have an email, we're, we have websites, we have a Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and a YouTube channel. Uh, so please, uh, you can contact me at any time. Uh, and it was wonderful being able to speak to you. And I hope that these programs will also be shared across the region and, and across the world when the networking, which is a, an important component in leadership. To be a leader, you have to know how to network, and how to experience and talk and communicate with others as well. And thank you once again for this opportunity. Uh, thank you very much, MLAS and Lloyd especially. Thank you so much, Randa. This is an excellent example of a library association that is in the planning stages that has experienced uh, some efforts related to leadership. And now it's in the planning stages to go forward. And this is important as well because we have to start somewhere. And um, I hope that um, the people that have joined us today also uh, take ideas from uh, what the Lebanese Library Association is doing and all the different areas that they are looking into. Um, and so um, Randa was very detailed and this is very helpful for those that want to uh, start. So I will recommend everybody to uh, when the recording is available to watch this again and take some notes. And now, thank you so much, Randa. Now we are going to interactive conversations. Please everyone join one of the groups because we're going to compile uh, these highlights from the conversations to present them at the MLAS program in Dublin during the IFLA Congress. And now I would like to uh, welcome back Magdalena from the New Professionals. They're going to um, guide us during the interactive conversations. Yeah, thank you, Loida. Uh, I will present a short uh, instruction uh, before uh, the session. So this part uh, takes 15 minutes, okay, after my introduction, 40 minutes. And I will uh, open breakout rooms. Uh, we will have four uh, uh, four rooms. Um, first, it's in Arabic language and moderator will be Marva. The second uh, is also in Arabic and a moderator is Mahmoud. Uh, the third one uh, is in French and our moderator is Hassan. And the last one is uh, in English and moderator is Borna. We have a really great moderators uh, with us today and we would like to um, invite, you, invite you to the, uh, to the conversations and um, make a feel uh, a good atmosphere. Uh, for you. So uh, please remember about your microphones and cameras, but not turn off, but turn on and uh, do in, in the rooms and, uh, and feel free to talk uh, with our moderators. Okay, so I'm going to open the rooms. Please give me a few seconds for that. And uh, I think that um, before it appears on your computer, your screen. 
Okay, so you can see names of the rooms and you can choose the one on the room in which you would like to come uh, and it's connected with the language. Are we all back? Yes, yes, I think that uh, we are. Uh, I see that in the chat that uh, we, I think that we all have this feeling that uh, this time ended very quickly, but uh, at the end, there will be a survey uh, to all our participants and you can also write your thoughts, your notes uh, in the server and we will read it. So there will be also the chance. I have only one as, uh, note that uh, Asan with the French room, um, we didn't have uh, French speaking participants. So everybody went to Mahmoud and Marva and Borna. Well, thank you all. And now we are going to have uh, some minutes dedicated to the report from the um, interactive conversations. And these are highlights that we um, are going to compile and they are already also on the Jamboard on the website. So it's very convenient. Um, and I will ask Magdalena to please uh, moderate that section. Uh, okay. Yes. So uh, we had today. We had three uh, three rooms, three moderators, uh, two in Arabic and one in English. And um, could we start uh, with Marva with the first room? Marva, could you uh, tell us about a few words about your discussion? What you notice? What your uh, colleagues said about uh, recommendation needs and best practice? This is about uh, leadership proje uh, projects. Okay. Uh, in fact, we were uh, about more than 10 people in the room um, from different countries. And we take some time to put some photo, but for technical issue, we succeed to have only one, but it was so beautiful with red flowers. So it was very nice, greens and red. And then we discuss... Uh, um, about the needs in the region. So we got an, a, a, a notes from a speaker from Amman about the importance of making a, a liaison or a link between the library and the business field. Uh, how to be able to get uh, more money or more beneficial um, points from the library and information to the economic and the business in our countries. And we we have to start to think a little bit uh, in a business way. And we have another recommendation from Egypt, from Dr. Amani. Uh, she dreams about having a, a special ministry or a, a high council for libraries to give more importance in our country to the, the fields and make studies and data analysis uh, in the information and communication and library fields. And it was very short, so we couldn't talk more, uh, we couldn't have uh, other ideas, but maybe as you mentioned, the people who attend can send their uh, ideas uh, in the survey later. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Marva, for your time and moderating the discussion. Thank you um, so much. Mahmoud, microphone is yours. Uh, you are muted. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Sorry, I did. Yeah. That, yeah, that okay. Fine. Thank you. Thank you, Magda. Um, and as you said, and as Marwa reported, time was very short, so we even couldn't have a chance to talk. So um, we used the sticky notes and uh, some texts to... Um, instead of a uh, discussion and conversation. So um, uh, first, uh, for the first question, the best uh, practicing for uh, development of leadership, um, we almost uh, all uh, agree that uh, uh, any program which managed by AFLI was uh, the best one of the uh, main um, uh, practices to uh, develop the leadership. Because of course we had, I had in my room, um, 
two main leaders of this program, Dr. Hassan and uh, Heba. So <laughs> we all agree that uh, NLE program was uh, the, one of the best practices. Um, we, we have no time for the second question. Uh, so most of us uh, are uh, of participants and answered the third one. Um, um, okay, um, we, we almost agreed that uh, training uh, and uh, skills development, so leadership development uh, skills, uh, one of the main needs and one of the uh, skills that uh, need improvement. Uh, uh, then, then the, uh, some uh, administ administrative skills. We need to improve uh, our administra administrative skills. Then, um, uh, third uh, answer was a uh, need to fund. Um, this is one of uh, main needs uh, in MENA region. So, uh, I, I hope it was good and successful, um, although we have a very short time. Thank you, Magda. Yeah, thank you, Mahmoud. <laughs> yes, we have a really uh, a short time. I saw that you had uh, 22 participants in one moment, so a big group. <laughs> Congratulations. And uh, Borna? Yes, hello. Um, I had a very small group, but it was very, very fun and very productive. I think we enjoyed it a lot. Um, we were talking about the importance of uh, shadowing, of uh, job shadowing to be more precise, and uh, the benefits that uh, you can get uh, watching and learning from other colleagues. And we also had a very interesting answer to the question uh, about recommendations regarding uh, leadership. And the answer was a uh, sense of humor. So we discussed it a little bit and uh, the author of the idea said that uh, it's very important uh, for the leader to be approachable and it's something um, that makes him or her uh, more human and more easy to talk to and to present new ideas. So uh, 15 minutes definitely wasn't enough, but that's it from my group and thank you. Thank you, Borna. And uh, at the last, I would like to thank Hassan, uh, our French moderator. Uh, he was in, in the room in, for French speaking participants, but today we had participants uh, who speak, uh, who speak uh, Arabic and English. So thank you, Hassan, that you uh, are with us today. And uh, I give microphone to Loida. Thank you so much. Um, this is very interesting. Um, we all work with this every day if we are working in libraries and leadership um, in terms of uh, managerial. And is this uh, point that came up from the interactive conversations about uh, how to use business leadership strategies, apply them to the work we do, and also how important are the administrative skills um, and so it's the first time these two points come up during these webinars, but they are so important because those of us that work in leadership of, of management see this uh, need every day. And so uh, this is why we're doing it, right? From different regions, they contribute different things. So very important. Thank you so much. And thank you to the new professionals for running and for, uh, to Marwa also for running the interactive conversations short time because uh, the webinar itself is long, but uh, we're hoping that this, um, this kind of like highlights uh, enrich our program in Dublin. So thank you. Now we're going to the next section of this um, webinar and it is with Rasha Bakarat and she's going to talk to us about uh, leadership. And we have um, now we're going to have Rasha Bakarat uh, talking about, um, I think she is the uh, um, um, seasonal librarian, new to leadership. And then we have Sumaya Yahui um, about uh, being a new librarian, new to leadership. And so those two are different stages of our profession and also very important. So welcome, Rasha. Hi, how are you everyone?
Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rasha Baraka. Do you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yes. Hi, I'm Rasha Barakat, Head of Libraries at Mesra International University, Cairo. First of all, I would like to thank Ifla Loida for giving me this chance to participate in the webinar. Also, I am happy to present with Professor Hassan Randa and Sumaya. I'd like also to thank our honorable attendees. After a rich presentation from Professor Hassan and Randa, I will present a role model of managing an academic library. My journey in management started a long time ago when I was the general manager of a Z company, a leading specialized company in libraries and information technology in UAE and Middle East. When I joined my current work at the university, I was interviewed by the university CEO. He mentioned the challenges that the library employees face. I accepted the difficult task, and I am the younger than most of the staff, and they are all men with a resonating negative experience from the ex-management. I listened carefully to them and they requested and developed a plan to initially contain and reassure them. I made a, re a, more, a moral reward for them, and I started a motivating family dinner outside work, and this reflect a very positive result and improved their psyche. I also implemented a specialized training for the whole team, switching roles and adding completely new tasks for each member. I followed up on them with every new step and encouraged them. The initiative of the distinguished employees was also developed for each month based on the new tasks performed by the team. They started to have a spirit of perseverance and work in a distinct healthy environment. We solved emerging problems together and consequently the reputation of the library and the team improved in the university. And confidence was replanted in the library team. This was reflected in the team spirit also. We always have successful projects which reflect on our KPI. Now I would like to share my leadership experience and achievement at library uh, for the last 10 months from July 4th, 21 until today. Starting with developing the library guidelines and policies in Arabic and in English. Also, I'm following this with re-engineering the job description of the library staff and developing work tools to meet the quality assurance standard. Developing the collection development policies. Also conducting information literacy workshop to the university staff, providing a specialized training to the library team. The library holds the responsibility of the e-text project, as we used to contact the publishers based on the professor needs and provide the student with courses materials through the student portal. So the project was accomplished smoothly for fall and the spring years. I worked on maintaining the library image at the university and the confidence was replanted in the library team. We started to add a huge value to our collection as we added new library solutions and services like the digital repository, which MIU digital repository that we captured, store, store, index, preserve, and redistribute MIU research material in digital format. And here, for the conclusion and recommendation, I have two main points. I believe that containment and harmony is the most important point the head had to take care of, as we all aim for quality in our work. And the quality is achieved by harmony, not by collision. And holding regular meeting with all the team and do brainstorming toward development, we can achieve. Together, we will all achieve more. And thank you.
Thank you so much, uh, Rasha. Uh, you have shared something uh, very important. Uh, well, many of your uh, information, of course, is important, but this about harmony, right? If we had more harmony in the world, we perhaps will have uh, follow different paths. Yes. Um, and so, yes, I'm capturing uh, harmony and that we all have experiences to share. Definitely, we need to think like that. Sometimes people think their experiences are not very meaningful, but they are all can be meaningful to different people. And that's where we're doing these webinars. Um, and definitely together, we can achieve many things. So thank you so much, Rasha. And thank now I would like to welcome uh, Sumaya Yahuyi. 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 I will, I will be uh, speaking your language soon. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm uh, so honored for uh, participate with you in my uh, experience in leadership. Uh, okay. Now, entering a new position is always on adventure. We have uh, a lot of, of projects in mind, a vision, desire, or achievement. There's, there's no, no responsibilities to look to my career have helped me to become aware of the essential user, you is you in any new position and to adjust the responsibilities of each other according to their now who their motivation and their fears. To be able to uh, concretize desire, it's a necessity to create alliance with our, our uh, hierarchical superior to weave a band of uh, mutual confidence to have the unconditional support on his part. This freedom to act uh, strangely uh, my confidence in myself and help it, me to act for uh, the good of uh, the group. My professional career, I'm a librarian, deputy head uh, director of collection development, manager of public services and collection conservation, cataloger manager, coordinator with the private library donors, a uh, member of the project, uh, the Museum of uh, uh, Writing Heritage is uh, the new project in uh, our uh, library. Programs and uh, training for uh, the profile of librarians, coordinator of uh, several round table on the occasion on uh, the book fair in Tunisia, project manager for the reuse of heritage collection, The sound is cut. Individual and the organizations plan. So, Maya, on Papa Tecute, we cannot hear you. Abilities of individuals as an integral part of the leadership process, making change to suit the place and time, as well as work strategies. The main objective is that is six to achieve the seat goal and facilitate the work. Being the good leadership required, First and uh, foremost, uh, self-confidence. I have a distant vision that allows him to bring out the best in each person on the team, be responsible and uh, independent. Leaders are responsible for the relationship with each individual 
their team member equality. Uh, this uh, for uh, many examples for different projects where uh, I have uh, participated in the National Library in coordinator or uh, uh, other. Uh, IFLA with the uh, its uh, regional meeting our, uh, on uh, the future on libraries at the Tunisian National Library from uh, 8 to, t to 10 May uh, 218 with uh, Mahmoud and uh, and Marwa and another uh, colleague. This uh, another uh, workshop uh, with the, the International Center for Libraries and the Information Center in Egypt held training courses in with the cooperate on cooperation with the National Library for uh, uh, our colleague in the National Library of Tunisia. And this, uh, I'm a coordinator at the end of a training course of librarians leaders in MENA, Tunisia branch experience at uh, 219. Have to use to have ability to be too proactive, have the ability to question our server, uh, have uh, the ability to know how to listen and to capture the audience, be influencing touch, have the ability to identify priorities, the way we carry a vision, have a time spirit. Some leaders challenge. Here uh, we address some uh, of the diff difficulties uh, encountered by the professional responsible for librarians how to soften your general attitude without, without losing your authority. The manager does not know that are his secure position of him, his statue and his role on which he is. How to deal with the principle uh, passivity and the hostility, the different difficulty that a solitary management on content is where to pose his problem. Went to leadership. Uh, recommendation for those who want to leaders. Uh, every employee, employee is a leader giving up control until we reap the reward of uh, overseeing. Value are uh, the beginning, the culture first, creating substantial change. And thank you for your attention. And uh, I'm sorry for my English is not very well. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shusumaya. You have shared with us um, so much helpful information as well. And that's why we um, want to present uh, leaders at different stages because they have uh, different uh, experiences. And from this one I'm taking, um, how important is to uh, have team spirit? And, um, um, and then when, with the same, uh, spirit of working with others, how to influence, uh, important to carry a vision, and how to empower others. And that is a beautiful thing, right? Because we need everybody uh, has a role and we need uh, many people to achieve what we need to achieve and do uh, different things in our countries or region. Um, and also to bring the best in each one of the team. And there are many other good uh, tips in the presentation, and I hope everyone can come back to watch the recording. Thank you so much. Um, well, now we have reached the end of our webinar, and uh, thank you to our speakers, to each one of you. You have enriched this event today. The recording will be available. You can share with your colleagues in each one of your many countries in MENA. 
And thank you to the participants that stayed uh, during all this time, an hour and a half. We have so much information to consider related to leadership and to fostering diversity. We will compile all this information to support MLAS uh, program at the IFLA Congress in Dublin. Thank you everyone for joining us today. We want to see you tomorrow because we have another webinar tomorrow and the, that one is featuring the Sub-Saharan Africa region. So I hope to see you all then and I hope to see you all online or in person very soon. Thank you.